Hello and welcome to the Spiritual Centre. My name is Sonia and I'm doing your reading for Sagittarius for August 2017. Um, I've just pulled a card from the Patrick Gamble Psychic Artist card. Uh, the card that I've pulled is Sacred Knowledge. In the picture you've got the wise old owl but inside you've got him. This is about you realising that Everything you need, everything you wish for is within you. You have all that knowledge within inside you. This is about you searching as well for spiritual development. Um, looking out there for something else. Looking out there for uh, someone to guide you. But realising actually you do not need anybody else to tell you anything. You, you just need to trust your own instinct, your own in a wisdom. Okay. So the tarot pack that I'm using today are the Cosmic Tarot. I'm using them for all of the readings for August. These were the ones that I've been pulled to. Okay, so what do I get as I'm doing the cards? Um, I do sense that you are going to want to get away from it. And that's very early on in August. And so if a chance comes up for a holiday, then you should take it. Um, you're going to have a massive desire to travel. So whether that be with work or just to get away, um, then you should go for it. Um, what else? I sense that um if you're in a relationship already there's going to be situations around that relationship that you're not happy about um you're going to be searching and it's not just going to be searching for that inner knowledge you're going to be searching for your soulmate and this is the month that it could happen so all those who are single all those who are unhappy august could be a massive change for you um You're going to have the clarification as well that you know that this person is right for you. Okay, work-wise, um, new opportunities, new job. If a doorway opens, then go for it. Because this is the month of travelling, changing, um, grabbing opportunities that show themselves in front of you. Um and trusting that this is the right thing but it's also a month for spiritual development as well i think it's going to be a, a big shift in in your own personal spiritual development okay so let's get on with the reading and the card the high priestess okay so she is everything spiritual she sits at the gates of Solomon's temple. She's the keeper of secrets, the keeper of knowledge and the keeper of balance. She's naturally clairvoyant and she always, always, always trusts her gut instinct. So right now you need to be using your intuition. You need to be developing your, your spiritual abilities. Because if you develop your spiritual abilities, it's going to lead you into every other area of life and much more fulfilling. Life as well. OK, so what stops you doing this? Let's have a look. The Ace of Swords. So you don't have trust, you don't have faith. You maybe don't believe what's going on. The Ace of Swords are all, well, the Aces are all gifts. The Ace of Swords is a gift of a new belief. So spiritually, I feel that spiritually you're going to have a wake up and you're going to be given evidence um, of something that's just so profound that you have no choice but to believe it. So look out for it. Look out for it in dreams. Look out for it in signs within your home. Ask Spirit to show you something. It is going to happen. Okay, so what's led you up to here? The Prince of Swords. Now, all the court cards in the tarot pack 
I see as individuals. Now, the Prince of Swords is somebody who doesn't actually care about somebody else's feelings. So if you're a male, this could well be you. You've been charging ahead and not really caring about others. If you're female, then this could mean that there is a male around you who, who doesn't really care about how you feel and whether they're hurting you right now. Look for that male because that male is important to here and now and, and where you're heading. There is someone around you that has these characteristics. Okay, in your subconscious is the Three of Cups and the cups in the picture are all overflowing. This, uh, the threes are all celebrations and this is about celebrating with others, celebrating with your friends. So I sense that probably you haven't spent as much time with your friends at, uh, as you could do, as you'd like to, maybe because of this person or maybe because you are this person. Um... You need to lighten up a bit. You need to let go and, you know, go out there and have fun. Go out there and enjoy life. That's what it's for. We come in with nothing. We go out with nothing. So enjoy the, the experience while you're here. Okay. In your higher conscious, we have beautiful card so you've got the ace of swords and the ace of wands around you at the moment the ace of wands is that creative idea that new spark so where i said there's going to be a change with you spiritually they're going to give you a gift they're going to give you a creative gift that you can put into practice Perhaps you already know what this is. I always sense that we do know deep down what our true purpose is. This is about writing, um, painting, poetry. It's something that is unique to you. And don't forget, you already have all that knowledge within. That's a fantastic card. For this reading it's going to be a massive month for you growth wise august okay so this is you here and now which is the two of cups to me the two of cups is the perfect relationship but it's also about making a choice all the twos are decisions so regarding a relationship, perhaps there's a decision that you need to make right now. I also said that at the beginning, I do feel that there is a soulmate connection for you in August. It could be somebody that you've been with for years and just having that realisation that this is the one. This is the person that is the other half of me. And if you're not with someone, then this someone could be a very rich person in every area, not just money. Okay, so let's see what the month ahead holds for you. This is how you see yourself. It's the death card. So many people are scared of this card. And yet, to me, it's one of the best cards in the pack. It signifies a bright new beginning. The sun is rising in the background. It's about letting go of any rubbish. Letting go of the things that no longer serve you. It's about putting new plans into action. It's about making those dreams come true. It's about finding your perfect love. It's about having a new thought pattern. New beliefs, trusting that this can happen, trusting that this will happen, trusting that this is what should be happening for you. Fantastic card. Okay, so how do others see you? Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so others will see this. Uh, it's the card of luxury. And so I said with travel, with relationships... It's almost like a perfect world and others will see it. These things that are coming in for you right now, right here and now, 
are going to give you this complete sense of fulfillment. And others are going to see that in you. Others will see how contented you are, how happy you are. Because you'll have made all these decisions yourself. I also sense that if you are travelling, that you will find your soulmate on your travels if you haven't met them. Again, if that opportunity comes up, then take it. Okay, so what's in your hopes and fears position? Temperance. The temperance to me is the healing angel. And again, she's pouring water where she doesn't need to. She's not watching what she's doing. And the sun is there. The sun is, is going down. It's sunset. This is about changing around. So you don't always see these bright new beginnings. You don't see that new sunrise. Because you're thinking, oh, you know, what have I done? Why, why did I do that? Why, sh why should I have done that? Is this the right thing for me to be doing? Your second question in yourself. Your second question in the gifts that you're being given. Okay, so your final outcome. Before I change, turn the card, I always like to say we can change the final outcome with free will. So your final outcome is the Seven of Pentacles. Now, this is a card you want to change because the Seven of Pentacles is working very hard, putting all these things into place, putting all these things into action, but actually none of them are going to take root. Unless you believe it, you have to believe it. You have to have that belief in yourself. You have to trust. You have to know that you have all that knowledge within. Look at the gifts that you've been given this month coming. That new gift of new beliefs. The gift of clairvoyance, of spiritual development, of intuition. The gift of something creative, writing, poetry, painting, any creative idea, make it happen. The gift of a brand new relationship or rekindling of your relationship, seeing things differently within that relationship, making those choices Allowing the new beginnings to come in. Don't be scared of this card. Allow it to happen. Because you'll have the life of luxury. It's there for you to take. And it's up to you with the decisions that you make as to whether these things will come off for you this month. Okay, so let's pull you a healing angel card to finish the reading. And the card we have is forgiveness the card speaks for itself when we forgive somebody we don't forgive that person we forgive ourselves so this is about allowing yourself time to heal time to um say to yourself that that's not going to affect me anymore that's not going to affect me anymore because I'll end up like this. I don't want that. I've got these new beginnings coming in. I've got these new areas coming in. I've got these new gifts. I've got the opportunity to travel. I've got the opportunity to find my soulmate. Fantastic opportunities coming up for you in August. You just need to look for them. Okay, well, I hope you all have a, a lovely month. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please like the video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. I love to read your comments. Um, it's lovely to talk to you. If you would like a private reading, there is a link at the bottom as well for my website. And I hope you all have a fantastic month. And I hope that your new ideas, your new gifts that you're being given... You make them happen. It's up to you to make them happen. And if you do, please let me know. It would be lovely to hear from you. Have a lovely month. Thank you for listening.